Oh my goodness, this is cool. And the bee saw cat. Have you ever wondered what Meghan Markle has been up to recently? Well, let's dive into a special event that will surely warm your hearts. It was an ordinary day in March, specifically the 21st, when the Duchess of Sussex decided to make a surprise visit, but this was not just any visit. Meghan chose the Children's Hospital Los Angeles as her destination, making this a rare public appearance that caught everyone by surprise. Now, imagine being a young patient at this hospital, your day filled with the usual routines when suddenly, the Duchess of Sussex herself walks in. That's right, Meghan Markle, in person, gracing the hospital with her presence. But Meghan wasn't there just to make an appearance, she was there to bring a bit of magic to these children's day. Meghan, always the storyteller, decided to make the most of her visit by sharing some of her favorite tales with the young patients. She chose Rosie Revere Engineer and Pete the Cat, both delightful stories that are close to her heart. This is one of my favorites, she said, as she pulled out a copy of Rosie Revere Engineer. The Duchess, with her background in acting, then put on a performance, providing voices for the characters in the stories, adding an extra layer of fun to the story time. This was not just a storytelling session, it was an experience, a rare treat for the children. Megan, with her warm smile and engaging style, brought these stories to life, creating an atmosphere of joy and excitement. The children, despite their circumstances, were treated to a special story time, a moment of escape into the world of imagination and wonder. This surprise visit from Meghan Markle was indeed a day to remember for the young patients at the Children's Hospital Los Angeles. It was a day filled with surprises, stories, and a touch of royal magic. A day that began like any other for these children quickly turned into a royal treat. With the stage set, Meghan Markle delved into the world of storytelling. She chose two books that were not just entertaining but also inspiring. The first one was Rosie Revere Engineer a book that tells the story of a young girl who dreams of becoming an engineer. The second was Pete the Cat, a tale of a cool, adventurous cat that children adore. Megan didn't just read the books, she brought them to life. Drawing on her acting experience, she slipped into the characters with ease, giving each one a distinct voice. The children listened, their faces lighting up as the stories unfolded. The Duchess of Sussex, with her animated expressions and engaging voice, turned the hospital room into a magical world of adventure and imagination. She started with Rosie Revere Engineer. This is one of my favorites, she shared, her eyes sparkling with enthusiasm. And it was clear why. The story of Rosie Revere is not just about a girl who wants to build great things. It's about resilience, about not giving up, about daring to dream big. Megan's choice of this book speaks volumes about her own values and the message she wanted to convey to the young listeners. Next came Pete the Cat, another favorite among children. With its catchy rhymes and colorful illustrations, Pete the Cat is a delight for the young and the young at heart. Megan's rendition of Pete's adventures was lively and full of fun, much to the delight of her young audience. But Megan's storytelling session was more than just reading out loud. With every character she voiced, every expression she made, she demonstrated her commitment to making a difference in the lives of these children. She transformed a routine hospital visit into a memorable event, a brief escape from the realities of their circumstances. Megan's performance was more than just reading a book. It was a dramatic presentation that brought joy to the children. Her visit was a testament to her dedication to service, a reflection of her genuine love for children, and an example of the positive impact a single act of kindness can have. Megan's visit was not just about reading stories. It was much more than that. Yes, she sat down and read a couple of delightful books, but the significance of her visit extends far beyond that. Megan, in her rare public appearance, brought something invaluable to the Children's Hospital Los Angeles. She brought smiles. Imagine, if you will, a child in a hospital bed, facing the daunting prospect of yet another treatment or procedure. Now, picture the same child's face, lighting up with joy as the Duchess of Sussex walks into the room. That's the magic Megan brought with her. Her visit wasn't just a source of entertainment, it was a source of comfort. For a few precious moments, Megan's presence allowed these children to forget about the sterile hospital environment, the IV lines, and the constant hum of medical machinery. Instead, they were lost in the world of Rosie Revere, Engineer, and Pete the Cat. 
They were laughing. They were engaged. They were children again, not just patients. And let's not forget about the families, parents, siblings who spend days and nights in the hospital, their lives consumed by worry and fear. For them, seeing their child's face light up with excitement, witnessing that moment of pure, unadulterated joy was a gift beyond measure. Megan's visit provided a brief respite from their reality, a moment of normalcy amidst the chaos. But Megan's impact extends beyond the hospital walls. By choosing to read books that promote positivity, resilience, and the power of imagination, she sent a powerful message to children everywhere. She showed them that even in difficult times, there is room for joy, for laughter, for stories that uplift and inspire. The Duchess of Sussex, with her radiant smile and engaging storytelling, brought a moment of joy in an otherwise challenging environment. Megan's visit was a testament to the power of compassion and the profound impact a simple act of kindness can have. It was a reminder that even in the midst of hardship, there is always room for a story, a smile, and a bit of magic. As the day came to a close, Megan left behind a hospital full of smiles. A day that began as an ordinary one transformed into something extraordinarily special with the Duchess of Sussex's surprise visit. Meghan Markle, with her warm smile and gentle demeanor, brought a wave of joy to the Children's Hospital Los Angeles. Meghan's visit to the hospital was more than just a royal engagement. It was a testament to her compassion, her love for children, and her commitment to using her platform to bring joy and inspiration to those in need. She didn't just read to the children, she breathed life into the characters, making the stories come alive in a way that captured the children's imaginations and hearts. Her choice of books, Rosie Revere, Engineer, and Pete the Cat, was not just entertaining but also empowering. These stories of resilience, creativity, and courage mirror Megan's own journey, showing the children that they too can overcome adversity and achieve their dreams. Megan's visit was not just about the stories she read, it was about the story she continues to write. A story of a woman who, despite the challenges and scrutiny she faces, continues to shine brightly, using her influence to uplift and inspire. The Duchess left a lasting impression on everyone at the hospital. From the medical staff who were moved by her kindness and empathy, to the patients whose faces lit up in her presence, Megan's visit was a beacon of hope and joy. Megan's visit was a reminder that even in the midst of hardship, there is room for joy, for hope, and for love. Her visit was a testament to her unwavering commitment to service and her genuine love for children. Meghan Markle, in her unique way, turned an ordinary day into an extraordinary one for the children at the hospital. The Sussex Squadron salutes her for this heartwarming gesture.